Here's an amazing story. Isabel Vaughn Spruce is the leader of 40 Days for Life campaign in Birmingham, England. She's not a terrorist. She's the opposite. She's someone who prays a lot. Well, earlier this month, she was praying silently outside an abortion clinic in Birmingham. She wasn't yelling or carrying a sign or blocking the doorway or doing anything disruptive. She was just praying. Praying. Not to the government, to God. And that's not allowed anymore. So police approached her and arrested her and charged her with violating a public space protection order and committing, quote, antisocial behavior. And we're not making this up. It was caught on video. Here it is. Uh, what, what are you here for today? Uh, physically, I'm just standing here. Okay. Why, why here of all places? I know you, you don't live nearby. But this is an abortion centre. You're praying? I, I might be praying in my head. Um, so I, I'll ask you once more, will you voluntarily come with us now to the police station for me to ask you some questions about today and other days where there are allegations that you've broken public space of protection? Uh, if I've got a choice, then no. Okay, well then you're under arrest. I can't suspicion of failing to comply with the public spaces protection order. Which you... Public spaces protection order. Isabel Vaughn Spruce joins us tonight. Isabel, thank you so much for coming on. So the, the for this me. order is designed, the law is designed to protect public spaces from praying. Well, maybe maybe if I could give a bit of a background to this. So for 20 years or around that, I've been going outside abortion centers and praying there and offering help to women. I know, you know well over 100 women have accepted our help and um, continued their pregnancies. Um, but September this year, the local council in Birmingham brought in this censorship zone, this PSPO. Um, formerly, these were used for, for dog fouling and drunken behaviour and things like that. But they're now popping up around the country um, surrounding abortion centres. And they ban behaviour like protesting. Um, but it also names prayer and counselling as forms of protesting. And so for times I went and stood near the closed abortion center and silently prayed there. And as you can see, the police came and asked me if I was protesting, which I wasn't. They asked me if I was praying. And I said, I might be silently praying. Um, I was arrested. I was searched. I was locked in a cell. I was then interviewed or interrogated, however you'd like to see it, um, during which I was quizzed about what I was praying about. Um, I was then released on bail and then subsequently charged on four counts of protesting and engaging in an act intimidating of service users. Um, so I now stand on, on trial on February the 2nd, supported by ADF UK, um, really for, for freedom of thought. Um, and, and the concern is here in England that um, national buffer zones are now being discussed. So there's a possibility of every abortion centre in this country having a similar zone around it. Um, and obviously the implications of that are, are really concerning. If you're arresting people for praying, you are committing an act of evil. It's not a close call at all. There's sort of no debate about that. And I would think that even secular people would recognize that. Did anybody, any prominent person step forward to defend you? Um, I, I have had a lot of um, people who say they're pro-choice or that they support abortion, but they've also got concerns about this. And, and that in itself is, is very encouraging to hear, um, that it's not necessarily about people who support abortion or don't support abortion. This is more to do with freedom of thought here. Um, it's even gone further than freedom of prayer. I mean, we, we all talk about the, the cancel culture and the concerns we have about people being cancelled. Um, you know, speaking and, and public, um, maybe public speaking engagements, but to be arresting somebody for what they're thinking, it's just gone even a step further. It's it's just, it's actually quite surreal. That's the word I'd use to describe it. I mean, the amount of people who've used the word Orwellian to me to describe this, likening it to the 1984 novel. Um, and, and it's really seemed like that to me from start to finish, and I wish it's not over yet, but it's just quite a surreal experience. Well, it's evil. It's an act of evil. Arresting someone for praying is an act of evil, period. And it just breaks your heart to think of all the people in charge of prime minister on down who are standing by and allowing this to happen. And it, um, I'm, I'm just so glad that you did this. I hope you'll continue to do it. That's a human right 
they can't take it away from you. And I appreciate your telling us about it on this show. Isabel Vaughn Spruce, thank you.